Over the past five years, we've been working very hard to make our barbells as durable as possible. To do this, we've optimized materials and manufacturing techniques, and we've also developed a proprietary patent pending process called Rogue Work Hardening. We did this because of an unprecedented change in the way that barbells are used. Rogue has also developed a clear and meaningful scale for rating barbell durability that we call the F-Scale. Rogue hired a team of scientists to study the use and abuse that barbells go through and came up with a three-step plan to improve our barbells durability. The first step was to optimize the chemical and mechanical properties of our steel. Steel that has tensile and yield strength that is too low will bend with normal use, but steel that has a tensile and yield strength that is too high can become brittle. The second step was to look at barbell coatings. It turns out that chrome, which has been the gold standard for barbell coating for many years, is detrimental to the life of a barbell. And so Rogue stopped making barbells with chrome-plated shafts. The third step was to develop a proprietary process for treating our barbells to make them more resistant to the stresses that they see in daily use. And that process is called Rogue Work Hardening. Bars treated with this process last longer than untreated bars. The stress that is caused to a barbell from being dropped from overhead far exceeds the demands of any other movement, including heavy squats at over a thousand pounds. Historically, the bars that were seeing the greatest stress were in large Olympic weightlifting training centers where bars could be dropped 10,000 to 20,000 times per year. However, around 2005, high repetition Olympic weightlifting for time became popular. And after that, bars could be dropped up to 150,000 times a year in a large gym. Because of this change in barbell use, we decided to consult with the failure analysis engineers at SEA Limited, and we enlisted their help to determine what are the stresses that a barbell experiences and where are those stresses occurring. The engineers attached strain gauges to the shafts of barbells and dropped them repeatedly from overhead with different weights. What they found was surprising. Dropping with lighter weights actually caused more stress to the barbells than heavier weights. So imagine a barbell with one or two bumper plates on each sleeve. That leaves a long length of the sleeve unsupported. Once the plate hits the ground, the end of the sleeve is able to keep moving down. This downward movement causes a large amount of stress on the shaft right where it meets the sleeve. We also learned that as we added more weight, the stress actually went down because more of the sleeve was supported and it stayed level when the bar hit the ground. After we determined what the stresses were on a barbell and where they occurred, SEA came up with a method to simulate those stresses in a laboratory, something that would be more repeatable than trying to drop a bar a million times. To do this, they used a four-point bend test. Two ends of a section of a barbell shaft are held fixed, and then a load is applied by two pins two inches apart. The first thing we found was that chrome decreased the durable lifespan of a barbell shaft by up to 50%. It turned out that it didn't matter whether the chrome was from Europe, China, or the United States. It also didn't matter what type of seal or what the tensile strength was. In every case, it decreased the durable lifespan of the bar. We found that other coatings such as zinc or Cerakote did not negatively affect the durability of the barbell. Media blasting a barbell shaft to prepare it for Cerakote improved its performance in our test. Once we knew we were using high quality steel with the right coatings, we looked at what else we could do to improve the durability of our barbells. To do this, we looked at industries where the durability of steel is critical and developed our proprietary process for treating a barbell shaft called rogue work hardening. Barbell shafts treated with rogue work hardening lasted three to four times as long as untreated shafts when they were subjected to the stresses of being dropped from overhead. Once we made all of these durability improvements to our barbells, we realized that there's no industry standard for rating the durability of a barbell. The F-Scale assigns a numeric rating to a bar based on how long that bar lasted in the four-point bend test. For example, a chrome-plated barbell that lasted 35,000 cycles in our test achieved a rating of F1. 
Bare steel or bars plated with zinc or Cerakote lasted twice as long and achieved a rating of F2. Bars that were media blasted in preparation for Cerakote lasted longer, receiving a rating of F6. Finally, bars that were treated with rogue work hardening lasted 200 to 300,000 cycles in our tests, achieving ratings of F6 to F8. These bars also carry an R in their rating to signify that they have been treated with rogue work hardening because this process has been shown to have an effect that is deep enough to retain its durability improvements even when scratched. This graph correlates the F rating of a barbell with the type of use to predict the durable lifespan. Using this data, we are able to make recommendations on what F rating is appropriate for different situations. F1 rated barbells have been used for more than 50 years in Olympic weightlifting training gyms and are an excellent choice for individual athletes gyms that focus on Olympic weightlifting and gyms that have dedicated Olympic weightlifting training areas. However, Rogue would not recommend them as the best choice for large gyms where bars will be dropped repeatedly in low weight Olympic lifts. F2 rated barbells have a proven track record of standing up to high level use in facilities performing high repetition low weight Olympic lifts and other lifts that are dropped from overhead. F6R and higher rated barbells are engineered for maximum resistance to the stresses of dropping and are the most durable bars available for this application. These barbells are an excellent choice for the owners of the largest facilities where bars will see hundreds of thousands of drops per year. Our hope is that the F-Scale will expand beyond Rogue, allowing customers to make an informed decision when picking a barbell regardless of the manufacturer.